he's not intellectually stimulated. And I'm like, bitch, what? Before we get started with the story, let me say this. Education is a really big deal. You have to know this for this story to make any kind of sense. Education is the way for people to change their entire futures and it all depends on several different exams throughout students' lifetime. Exams to get into good middle schools, get into good high schools, and finally the Gao Cao, the college entrance examination. There is an amount of pressure put on students that you cannot believe and you will not believe even if I tell you, which I'm gonna do right now. Now, let's start the story. Now, most of you know that I've spent my time in China teaching at universities, although there was a time where I taught at one training school here in Chengdu called I2. Won't say where exactly, but one of the I2 branches. And it was there that I was privy to this situation. Get a load of this. Most of the people who came into I2 were parents of children between, say, six and 12. That was the normal clientele, but, but one time we had an eight month old student. No, you did not hear me say that wrong. Eight months old, eight months old. Like one year less than nine months, like four months less than a year. Like can't walk, can't talk, eight months old, really. These parents came in and they brought their little bundle of joy who's crapping all over the place and throwing up and all of this. And they said, hey, can you teach our, ba uh, our baby? And we were like, of course, like, where's your baby? Oh, this one right here. We were like, what? What? How old is he? Eight months? His name is Oscar. Oh, oh really? Okay. Uh, and then not only that, they brought in like a load of textbooks like this high. They brought in like astronomy textbooks, physics textbooks, history textbooks, math textbooks for like students preparing for college, like that kind of thing. What, what the hell is that? And they're like, oh, well, we don't have to teach this right now. We can do this later. And they, they wanted a demo class and they wanted like actual teachers to come in. And the weird thing is they spoke perfectly good English themselves. They had spent years and years working and living in America and spoke great English. They could have taught that themselves, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. <laughs> and my poor coworker, I can't say her name, had to actually teach this child, but her classes ultimately were like, the parents, both parents came in every single time, twice a week, and they just held their baby, and the baby's just, you know, whatever, like a little pug or something, and not doing anything. And my coworkers got to stare and like, read stories to this kid and read books to this kid and be like, and then the little train went, and then, you know, and acting him out and all this. And then these parents came up and after classes, I, I would hear them sometimes, they would they would leave feedback for her and say, you know, oh, you're not really putting enough effort into the story. You're not making it imaginative enough for him. He's not intellectually stimulated. And I'm like, bitch, what? And I'm just a bystander here, right? I'm not the one who's actually even teaching this kid. And I'm like, what kind of psycho parents are these? Like, I, what I think is that they actually wanted to learn English, but they didn't want to be like, you know, they didn't want to admit that they wanted to learn English. So they were just trying, oh, my kid wants to learn English, but they actually really want to practice their listening or something. It's just, it's this strange thing. And look, I recognize that this is not a normal case. This is not normal. It doesn't happen everywhere, but it is an extreme illustration of what happens to kids here in China. Parents go nuts over their kids' education. They put way too much pressure on them. Kids get up at six in the morning or earlier, and they're at school all day until like seven or eight at night, sometimes even later. And they study until midnight, and then they get up all over again to prepare for these stupid exams, to prepare for getting into college, to prepare for all this. And it's really quite sad. Um, and I may come across as overly critical, uh, but that's just kind of the way China is. The competition here is such that you must do this. You must do this. Um, although, honestly, eight months old, really? You're gonna take an eight month old kid into classes? Please. But it is a true story, I swear on my life. It happened, I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, yeah, so if you like the story, please drop a like and all of that. I will make a video every single day this month and uh, please stick around for that. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow.